experiment four measuring the angle of incidence the angle of refraction the angle of emergence and interpreting the results aim to trace the path of ray of light passing through a rectangular glass slab for different angles of incidence and to measure the angle of incidence the angle of refraction the angle of emergence and interpret the results requirements a rectangular glass slab a drawing board a drawing paper drawing pins pins protractor procedure fix the drawing paper on the drawing board using drawing pins place the rectangular glass slab on it and mark its boundary with a sharp pencil remove the glass slab and draw normal m1 n1 at the point o draw a line ao which forms an angle of incidence i of 30 degrees with normal m1 n1 erect pins p1 and p2 on ray ao such that the pins are vertical and well separated place the glass slab properly in its original position observe the images of the bases of pin p1 and p2 through the glass slab from the opposite side and fix two pins p3 and p4 such that the bases of these pins are exactly in line with the images of bases of pins p1 and p2 remove pins p3 and p4 and mark their positions by small circles draw a line through points p3 and p4 remove pins p1 and p2 and the glass slab join ob and draw normal m2 n2 at point b measure the angles i r and e repeat the above procedure for two more angles of incidence of 45 degrees and 60 degrees now here is the observation table with columns serial number angles of incidence i angle of refraction r angle of emergence e inference the path of the ray of angle of incidence of 30 degrees is aobc incident ray ao and emergent ray bc are parallel to each other the lateral shift is equal to cd this shift depends upon the thickness t of the glass slab the refractive index of glass and the angle of incidence the angle of incidence i is equal to angle of emergence e